Hello, I'm Brian Tracy, and today I want to talk to you about one of the most important subjects in life, and it's how to stay productive during any crisis. The key to success in life is task completion. A crisis and your ability to manage a crisis is the testing time in human life. Today, your ability to be productive, to discipline yourself, to do the right things in the right way over and over again, when there's nobody even watching you, there's nobody disciplining you, this is basically a testing time. This is the, where people test themselves by learning different ways to produce high amounts. Most people, if they don't have a structured environment, start to kind of fall apart. Their levels of productivity start to drop. Now, before we even start, I want to just say one thing is the key to success in life is task completion. Task completion. And I've taught this, as you know, I'm the best-selling author in the world on time management. I've sold millions and millions of copies in 46 languages, so I know a little bit about the subject. And it's just amazing how many people don't realize it. When I was young, I used to think that time management was like a subject around the outlying areas of my life, like my, I was the center of the world and that uh, the time management was way out here. And then I realized that time management is the sun around which my whole world turns. It's the sun of your life and how well you manage your time determines your whole life, your income, your productivity, how good you feel about yourself is really, really important. Now, while we all face difficult problems now and again, a crisis presents a high level of difficulty because it's almost always an unexpected and unprecedented situation that is affecting more than just ourselves. A crisis and your ability to manage a crisis is the testing time in human life. And so what we'll talk about here is how you manage your time during the crisis that we're going through today. During a crisis situation, you may have the misconception that now, everything is beyond your control. But I want you to remind you of one thing. You'll always be able to control no matter what the outside world looks like. And that is your dedication to becoming the best possible version of yourself and focusing on your goals. Whether it's your business or your personal life or even your mindset, a crisis situation is a time to adapt, not pause, and not become discouraged. So today I want to share a few tips to help you stay productive during any crisis. First, number one, don't worry about things that you cannot change. Always ask, is the problem you're facing a problem or a fact? Now a problem is something that is amenable to a solution. You can sit down with others, you can write it down, you can look at the alternatives, and you can decide to do one thing or another. A fact is something that you can't change. So never get upset about a fact. Now one of the things that I learned is that most people are unhappy today. All the psychologists and psychiatrists and psychotherapists are dealing with patients who are talking about facts. They're talking about past events. A past event that has occurred is a fact and you can't change it. Past events with regard to your family and your previous relationships and your uh, wives and uh, financial decisions that you've made and people that have hurt you and so on. These are all facts because they're past events that you can't change. So what you do is you make a decision and you say, and this is what I decided many years ago, no regrets. No regrets. If something happened and it didn't work out and it cost me time and money and pain and so on, no regrets. Accept it learn from it, and move on. Remember, uh, your ability to respond effectively, your response ability, is what's going to make you better and stronger in the future. Now, number two, dare to step out of your comfort zone. Be prepared to approach difficulties differently than you have before. One of the things that I've learned is that the greatest enemy of success in business is the comfort zone. Harvard University did a study in 2013 
about your business model. And what they found is that about 80% of companies are using a business model that is obsolete, partially obsolete, or a lot obsolete, or completely obsolete. And they are forced, they are um, very strong about staying in the comfort zone. They do everything possible to keep on doing what they were doing before. And so your ability to get out of your comfort zone is very, very important is to expand your thinking. So this is your narrow thinking. Expand it and look at all the possibilities that are available. One of the things I learned many years ago is always be open to the possibility that you could be wrong. Always be open to the possibility that what you're doing today is wrong. Now, the third way to be more productive is don't let your emotions control your behavior. Stay calm and clear as you focus on the future. I've talked before about my book, Crunch Point. How do you deal with a crisis uh, of any kind? And the number one rule is stay calm. Take a deep breath, look into the crisis, and ask yourself what exactly has happened? Is what can we do about this situation? Is what can we learn from this situation? And so on. So you don't let your emotions control your behavior. Now here's an interesting discovery. When you ask questions, what exactly has happened? How did it happen? When did it happen? Who was involved with it? What can we do about it? When you ask questions, you keep yourself calm and you make your mind clear and you come up with ideas to solve your situation. So this is really important. Number four is look for the good in any situation. Don't get weighed down by the negativity of a crisis or a setback or a problem is take a deep breath and say there must be something good here that we can use. Some years ago one of the richest men in America was a man named W. Clement Stone and what he did is whenever there was a problem in his company people were trained to say that's good and then find something good about the problem and he eventually expanded all over the world and all over the world every new manager was taught to say that's good. Now, what is it about this situation that is good? And so everybody focused on finding something good. And they always found something good. And the company grew to become one of the most successful companies in the world. And he grew to become almost a billionaire, starting off as an orphan selling newspapers on the streets of Chicago. Number five is continue to take action. Keep moving forward to reach your goals. Don't uh, sit uh, and think or watch television. Is take action. Keep moving forward. Keep trying different things. Remember, action is everything. Peter Drucker wrote about strategic planning, which we teach in other places. And what he said was the ultimate end of all strategic plan planning is action now. Discussion leads to decisions, which lead to action now but it's always action now so ask yourself what actions can i take immediately to help me to achieve my most important goals if you're in business your most important goals are to increase your sales your profitability and your income so what can you do now to increase revenue generation and to keep moving forward toward achieving your goals to uh, completing your tasks to helping yourself and your company move onward and upward. Now, I'd love to hear from you. So my question today is, which of these strategies will you implement right now to start becoming more productive? I'm sure that there's something in there. What is it that is good about your life today? Will it be an opportunity to learn and change and grow and to respond effectively? So leave a comment below and I will be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching and remember, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now. If you enjoyed this video and you feel it was valuable in teaching you about how to stay productive during any crisis, subscribe to my channel, like this video and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to click on the button on the screen for a free gift.